Everybody wants a piece of you. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome to Lisbon, welcome to Portugal. Um, teach me how to say your name correctly, how to pronounce it. Uh, hello everybody, it's very nice to be here, I'm very happy. Thank we you. are very happy, all. My name is Elgant, it's pronounced okay. Elgant, okay. Elgant okay. 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 You, were, you were telling me on the, on the backstage how happy you are with the weather in Lisbon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll but you like... really miss this kind of winter feeling uh, in on spring. Yeah, yeah, because in Almeida we had like 30 degrees now and we're left with 30 degrees and we came here we thought Lisbon might be a warm place. We we, we got with us tank tops and uh, 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 short, shorts, shorts, uh, shorts and uh, flip flops. As soon as we got out of the airport, we thought, uh, "This is weird," because it was like 12 degrees. And <laughs> for the Portugal is full of surprises. So, yeah, uh, we we want to Let's surprise see. you in many many ways, including the weather. Um, so, thanks. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for bringing true rock and roll vibe to to Eurovision. Thank you, man. I'm glad and uh, it's it's great to see you to see you doing it because you do it with with so much soul and so much power. But uh, others are are trying to do it this year, which I think it's it's a great change. There's yeah, Romania yeah. and Hungary and Switzerland is rockish. Netherlands, the Netherlands, Netherlands also. Yeah. I, I love all those songs. I love even even the other songs, the pop ones that are yeah. some. Very, very nice singers, very nice artists. It's a good level. Uh, yeah, year. and I'm very happy to get to know them, every one of them. They are so do you, do very you think, social. Uh, do you think Eurovision is becoming Euro rock vision? I don't think so, but we have our spot there. Yeah. And I said it earlier, we are, we're like a sparkle, you know, and uh, we like to, to keep it that way, you know? Great. Uh, so can you tell us a bit about this rock song of yours, Mal? What does it mean? And, uh, uh, and Mal, uh, Mal means yearning. Yearning, uh, yeah. Or it's a song about missing someone. Uh, I wrote it when I was away from my family and uh, I just needed to get out to, to, to get out that emotion through that song and as soon as I came back to Romania I, I focused to write that lyric and uh, compose the music with it and my band that I have I like to introduce them. Sorry if I'm. No, no, no. Do it. I'm, yes, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm taking some moments, but I have to do that. No, it's we have fun. a guitar player, Dennis Hima. <laughs> Baking vocalist number one or two is not a problem. One of them, Erinda Agoli. Welcome. The drummer, Gerti Hima. Yeah, <laughs> The other baking vocalist, Gareta Radovani. The bass player, a friend of mine, my brother, Vesnik Nikoli. This is my band, and we have even some friends of ours, my fiance, the wife of my beautiful hey, fiance. Woman, <laughs> and two wonderful guys that are helping us with uh, promoting the songs and etc. Bessie and uh, Andre. Is, is this your usual band, the band you play with? Uh, the yeah, the, uh, the brothers, the guitar player and the drummer are always with me. Always uh, we are doing an album nowadays and uh, he, the bass player, is a friend of mine. I, I had some bands with but he's living now in Italy and uh, that's why we're not playing with him so much. So but much. But looking forward to, to just uh, take it with me and do some concerts and etc. after this. So. You're sounding good. Um, so about mall, you said it means yearning. And do you know that actually, the, usually the word that defines Portugal is the word saudades. So yeah, there's yeah, yeah. There's this. Uh, we have a, a very traditional um, type of song which is fado, and fado is all about I've, yearning. I've heard about fado, yeah. And so it's very. It's like the stars are aligned, so that you're bringing a song about yearning, which Perfect. is what all the Portuguese know about, uh, yeah. to Eurovision in Lisbon. Plenty are you yeah. offering to translate uh, the song in Portuguese? <laughs> hey, I'm I'm up to it. Yeah, yeah. Just That's just invite me. I don't do. But you should you should go. We have like fado houses where people sing the fado in restaurants. So you should visit it because the, the yeah like the soul of what you're singing very similar to to what they're presenting. Nice to hear that. Not rock, huh? It's like very it's melancholic uh, sound. But uh, I love mellow it sounds. It makes sense. I love mellow sounds. I'm looking forward to being in one of those places and heard your traditional music. 
Yeah, you should. I, you I'd should. love to. I'd I love think to. Yeah, I, should, I think you would love it. So, were you were you dreaming about this, about coming to to Eurovision? Was it a plan, or it just happened by chance? Well, I always uh, wanted to take part, to be a part of the Festival de Coeur. That is a festival that is choosing a representative. Yeah. And uh, we, we got the chance to we got the chance to uh, represent Albania this year here in Eurovision, and uh, we're very happy about it. This is a dream come true for us, you know, for everybody that is uh, on stage and out of the stage. It's a big thing. It's a big door to show our art to the entire world. So we're very glad and very happy to be here. Thank you. Okay, questions from the audience here in the first row. Microphone. Microphone is coming. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hello, I'm Simon from Polish Radio Newsletter. I took number one seat because for me you are number one singer <laughs> oh. of this year's contest. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Really, among male vocalists, I had tears. So uh, I know that you studied, uh, to, you wanted to be a dentist, but have you yeah. thought about to, to be a vocalist as well? <laughs> because my eyes <laughs> can see you now. You know? Thanks a lot for the kind words, Simon. Well, uh, I went to Italy when I was 18 years old. I always wanted to be a, uh, a medicine, a, de a surgeon. So I was, uh, I was in Italy for four years and I was trying to study. But uh, I had some diffic difficulties, uh, economic difficulties, and I had to even work to maintain myself. So uh, from that I, I needed to leave the university thing apart and uh, just leave and get some uh, life experiences and uh, get to sing in Italy and uh, after four years I, I came back to Albania and uh, my dream to become a surgeon it was a big long because as you know the medicine university is a bit long it's like 10 years and after we have to do some masters and etc so I, I, I took a shortcut and I said I need to do something that is connected with medicine the, the shortest possible and it was like dentistry so uh, that's why I'm into dentistry. Uh, I love to paint, I love to sculpt things, and maybe that thing is a bit connected with uh, dentistry. I haven't finished it yet, because all these things, uh, concerts and uh, even Eurovision now, but I have one year left and after. Yeah, of course. Thank you for your question. Sebastian from Poland here on the first row. Hello again. Hello, Sebastian. Sebastian, Destination Eurovision, Poland. I sit very near to my friend who asking the first question, and it's true, he is in tears. So, <laughs> and I would like also thank you so much for bringing music perfection to the new highest level that we ever seen in Eurovision before. Thanks it's so much. fun for me to much. listen to you in the arena, it's so phenomenal. Thanks a lot, thank thank you. You. My question is about artistic side of you. And I would like to know, what's your goals after Eurovision? Because I know that you are fully concentrated to represent your country as best as you possibly, poss as you possibly can. Yeah. But what's your artistic goals after Eurovision? Do you have some points, goals, which you will ever dream to make? We're, well, we're, we're, uh, with my band, I'm working on my first album. Uh, we, have, we have some difficulties in Albania to record some live instruments, but we're, we have some connections, even with the producer that we produced the revamped version. And uh, we're looking forward to complete the album and uh, just let it out. One version in Albanian and one version in English. So maybe it will be on Spotify, etc. We see, as I said earlier, we see this uh, all this thing like a event that is a giant door that will just uh, we have to pass our art through and just let all the people abroad Albania to hear our music. And I don't know what happens. We're hoping for better, so we're hoping for good. So. Okay, next question here in the first row again. Andrew. <laughs> run, run, run. Hi again, everyone. Um, uh, Andrew from ITV Slovenia and ESC Cast. Um, my question was, well, first of all, um, in the arena, the vocals sound amazing. Everyone was blown away. It really is absolutely fantastic. You're making everyone crying. Good. What's going on? I don't want to get him crying soon, right? <laughs> but genuinely, really fantastic. Um, my question was, uh, we, we have many opportunities this week to see you perform live elsewhere around because I think a lot of people want to see you. Um, so that was my question. If I understand it correctly, because uh, it was a bit quick. Uh, 
Yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. Concerts, we are we are looking forward to 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 be on the Eurovision Eurofunk affair, and uh, we are checking also the possibility for uh, Euroclub. Yes, the locals. Okay, so he knows better. better. He knows better. better. To <laughs> see again. Next question. Yes, third row here. This is uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision Artist in the Netherlands. Oh, okay. I uh, read somewhere that you have worked together with Bamboo Food, Guns N' Roses. Mm -hmm. How was that for you and did you learn something maybe from him? Well, it was terrific. We, we were happy to uh, play with him on, uh, on a beer concert that is uh, uh, taking part in the southeast of Albania. And it was magnificent. Uh, he was a simple man. He was a great artist, and uh, we, we had a lot of fun. I was with uh, with my guitar player, but not my drummer, but with my guitar player. Mm. He was a second and solo guitarist even, and uh, it was fantastic, fantastic. We loved every inch of it, so it was perfect. <laughs> to be remembered. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another question here on the left side. Oh. On my left side. Hello, I'm from Tamás from OGA, Hungary, and uh, to our rock lover, to our, from our rock lover to our rock lover, a question is coming. So, uh, if you wouldn't, shouldn't have played, wouldn't be allowed to play rock music, what else kind of music would you play uh, very, with open heart? Here or anywhere else? Anywhere. But I'm, really I'm, I'm sure it's uh, fun with Portuguese music. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> because it's about yearning, you know? That's my... <laughs> And I said, melancholic. Melancholic, definitely. Well, uh, when I was young, I used to listen to opera, huh? you know, and I would very, very, I would be happy if I, if I was a tenor or something like that. Wow. I would express myself in, even in operistic music, oh. I think. I, I'm interviewing Estonia a bit later in the day. Do you want to me to match you with her, and maybe you can, you know, join forces? She's a great singer. She's I mean, a very good singer. Yeah, not going near her. <laughs> I would just like... <laughs> she would put you under a dress yeah. <laughs> like, hide you. That was not good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good morning, Eugen. It's JP from Wade International. I'm reading about uh, that you are, besides your music, which is with your religion, you're also supporting human rights. Can you explain us how you do that? Well, there are a lot of concerts uh, that are, are, are going to take part in... Uh, that are taking part in Albania. And uh, especially for children with illnesses and something like that, and I'm always uh, willing to help to 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 earn something from them and help those people that needs uh, surgeries and etc. But uh, in Albania, there are a lot of movement, even with uh, human rights, with uh, uh, women rights, you know. And I'm I'm, I'm willing to take part in those uh, concerts too. So I'm promoting my music and uh, trying to bring people to hear our music and help those people. So I'm yes. helping them with my music. He takes part in uh, every charity concert or activity that uh, he is invited to, but with a special focus of, uh, on uh, human rights, children in need, uh, persons uh, with disabilities and so on. And thank you for that, that's really important. Okay, one last question. No, so I have a question. Yeah, no. yeah. Uh, your tattoos. Can you tell us a bit about it? Because there's a lot of them. They're very yeah. nice, at least from here. That <laughs> thanks, I can, I, I couldn't help seeing them. Well, so I love when did you start, and uh, what, what, what's, uh, what well, were the choices behind? Initially, them? I start, uh, I started when I was like 14 years old. 14. Wow. Yes, okay. I, I made a, a machinery by myself. I like, I'm a do-it-yourself person. I do do I why person. So, I made a machinery, and I, I, I've done this by myself when I was 16 years old. Wow. And some of my tattoos that I have here covered, covered up, <laughs> because they were <laughs> horrible, you know. Uh, I've done them when I was 14. And uh, these new tattoos that I have, this is a painting from Francisco Francia. It's uh, a painting that is about a legend of Eros, god of love, and Psyche, that is a mortal woman. And uh, I love that story because it's a love story from uh, uh, God and, uh, and, a, and a mortal person. So I, all this sleeve that I have here is connected with that story. At this this part, I always loved skulls the because skull. I yeah, love medicine. Rock yeah, oh, rock and roll, I love medicine. Yeah, no, just, and, roll, okay. uh, and here I have uh, my oh, idols. Wow. 
Wow. Uh, it's a gallery of idols. I, I hope you can see it on, yeah, on the camera. It's impressive. I started to listen to rock music uh, when I was 10 years old. I started to listen to The Doors, and uh, Jim Morrison was one of my favorite, and is one yes. of my favorite singers. I, can see I have that. here uh, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. It is a great frontman. Elvis Presley. Yes. Big frontman and God of rock and roll, you know. And here I have uh, Ronnie James Dio. Uh, this is a, a cover of an album that is uh, from the band Elf that he used to be the lead singer. So, and I'm planning to. Go up. To go up, but... Uh, so you're keeping your idols with yourself, like very yeah, close to your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they are helping me a lot. They are just uh, giving me strength and... Uh, that's it. And it, have, looks, it looks beautiful. I have something here, but uh, it's a bit dark. And There's a lot to show, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, a big, big applause for such an original artist from such an amazing country from Albania. Thanks a lot, Thanks a lot man.